All right. Thank you, Mrs. Golden. Hey, guys, how you doing today? Good. My name is my name is Ellis Wims. Um, I'm a former NFL player. I played eight years in the NFL for the Buccaneers, uh, Seahawks, and Vikings. Uh, and uh, I also was privileged to be on the Super Bowl team with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2003. Um, again, I played eight years. Uh, had a great career, but you know, football uh, though is you know uh, very fun, and you know I, I got a chance to live my dream to play football. Uh, football ends for us all at some point. Uh, so when football ended for me, uh, I wanted to continue to be involved in the community. When I was a player, I had football camps and you know went to events and always tried to do things to support our kids in our community. So when I retired, I started an organization uh, to help, uh, again, with kids in our community. But uh, our, my organization is called the Athletes for Computer Science. And our goal is to help you guys uh, get a base uh, understanding of computer science uh, and computer science education. Uh, computer science will be a huge part of whatever you guys decide to do in the future. Whatever career decide, you decide to take on, whatever you decide you want to be, whether you want to own a business, whether you want to work for a great company, computer science will be a huge part uh, of whatever your future is going to be. So we want to make sure that we're helping you guys get a, a great foundation uh, in computer science so you have an opportunity to be successful in your future. So. Uh, we're going to start off here. I'm going to play for you guys a couple of quick videos just to kind of show you um, how important computer science will be to your future. And I think you'll like these videos. They're pretty cool. So again, uh, I mean, you have 
two of the the best basketball players in the world, um, two NBA uh, world champions. Uh, just really want you guys to understand how important computer science is going to be to your future. Uh, so today, we want to start our journey on just our, uh, our delving into just base computer science fundamentals. What we will be doing today is getting a fundamental understanding of what software coding is, how to uh, write software, how to tell the computer that's in front of you what to do and how to do it. So today, our, our first lesson will be just kind of learning those base concepts. So um, let's, is everybody signed in? All you guys signed in? Uh, yeah, OK, cool. Ms. Golden, we're good? Huh? OK, so let's go here, All right? To you guys' class right here, our sixth grade class. You guys are in course D. So when you get to course D, you see this. Okay, we're going to start here with lesson one. Now, these are unplugged activities, which means uh, these activities are, are, are not supposed to be on the computer. We're actually just going to watch the video. Uh, we don't have the materials uh, to do these, uh, these, these, this lesson here, but that's not a big deal. What I really want you to focus on is just the concept of the video, what the video is about, and that'll help you kind of get in the mindset for what we're about to do. Let me share my screen here so you guys can see where we are. Right here. So we're here with lesson we're here with lesson one right here. So again, unplugged activity, so we're gonna click that. Alright, you guys you can just watch this on my screen. You don't necessarily have to watch it on your your screen, um, but you can click it, okay? So This is not the right video. Sorry about that. Let's go back because it, it skipped to lesson two on me. Let's go back. This is where we should be here, okay? Sorry about that. This lesson is called Graph Paper Programming, and it's all about algorithms. Today, we're going to learn how to write programs that show each other how to recreate Simple black and white images using only no, hand drawing. You know, I'm just gonna say, come here. Square. No, you have to go back again and then uh, make it to that square. An algorithm is a list of instructions. Yes, the RJ Angel. We'll follow this set of instructions to make the ball. Algorithms, they are really helpful when you need someone else to understand how to do something. If you're writing an algorithm for a computer, you have to break it down into little tiny steps. So finish this row, then go to the next one, go to the next one, and then you'll be all done. I use algorithms in my work if I write down all of the steps. I need to recreate that same piece again, or I can teach someone else to do it. Put the glass in the kiln, fuse it together, follow the rest of the instructions to make the bowl. Algorithms give you a good map for getting something done. Yes. I got my I got my kids coming in uh, coming in here. They wanted to come here and check out the class. Hi. Yeah, they they want they always see me doing classes. They wanted to come and see what I was doing. So my bad, y'all. 
All right, now we're gonna watch the video for real this time. Had technical difficulties there. All right, here we go. There we go. So hopefully we saw it that time. <laughs> cool. Okay. So now we'll get in now we'll move on to the next lesson. So you guys can turn around and we'll we'll get into lesson two and we'll actually get into the the programming side of our lesson for today. So that was lesson one. All right. Now you can you can click here and click finished and continue to the next stage. And now now everyone should have this video. So they can watch they can watch this video in their in their headphones. Okay, so let's go into, let's click continue. And let's go into our first lesson. Now, I've done some of these with previous classes, so mine are already done. But I'll try to reset it to the screen that you guys are looking at. So here we have, again, our workspace. I mean, our workspace here, all right? And this is where our program will run here. And this is our toolbox where our commands are. And this is our our instructions. So the instructions for this puzzle is, for this puzzle, snap all of the blocks together and click run to watch it go. So what you want to do, and I think you guys have two move forward blocks here. So here we see the angry bird here, right? And he needs to get to this pig, all right? 
each one of these squares is a move. So you can kind of estimate that each time he needs to move, one of these squares is a move. So you'll have one move forward, two move forward. That's one move forward and two move forward. So what we have to do is be able to click, drag, and attach this block to the win run block. So when, when we run this program, this happens, okay? When we run this program, this happens, okay? Uh, so, uh, so we click one here, we click the next one here, all right? So that's one move forward, two move forward. And click one. All right. So if everyone has that one, does everyone have it? If we see it, if we see anyone that's struggling with something, uh, if they're not sure what they're doing, raise your hand, and we'll go back through it. Okay. So we okay there? Uh huh. Okay. So we'll go to puzzle three. So here, let's read the instructions. Drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox, then attach all blocks to the win run uh, block to, to finish your code. So I think you guys, your program probably looks like this when it first started. Again, I've done some of these puzzles, so mine were already done. Uh, so again, we have to look here. How many times does the bird have to move to get to the pig? One, two, three. So here we have one, two. So if we ran this program, he will, he will come up short. So if we were to add one more, Okay. So, how's everyone doing so far? Okay, cool. So here we can kind of see our class. Hey, Jada, Jada, you got to come back to us here. Who's Jada? Jada, Jada Williams. Uh, it looks like she's she's all the way up here. Let's see, hold on, Jada Williams. Yeah, she she ended up from here, and she's here in lesson eight. She needs to come back to here. Jada Williams. So, so she needs she needs to come back to here. She ended up skipping all the way to lesson eight. She needs to come back to lesson two.
Okay. It looks hey, it looks like it looks like we have some students that are on stuck on three here. We have uh, Tanya, Megan, and oh, they moving. They moving. Okay, cool. Let me read. Okay. Guys, keep try to keep your earphones on. Stay focused in the lesson. Get those earphones on. You gotta make make sure you're listening to those videos. Turn around and watch those videos. That video is explaining that concept. So let's stay focused on what we're doing. Keep your earphones on. Stay locked into the lesson and only take your earphones off if you need to ask a question. Hey Jordan, come here. Uh, no. No. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Can you tell them about that, please? Okay. Um, hold on. So what? What's? Give me, give me one of the one of the puzzles, the puzzle that has the repeat function, so I can go. Puzzle eight. Puzzle eight. Okay. There, tell you what it's for. Okay, so so this repeater function it helps you uh, condense your code, meaning it's, it it helps you not have to write as many lines of code to get the same job done. You want to try to keep your code clean and condensed. So using this repeater function allows you to take something that needed to happen multiple times uh, and condense it into one piece of code. So let's go. Let's go through this puzzle together. Uh, let's read. Let's, let's let's read the instructions. Keep calm and help me find a bad pig. Otherwise, I might get angry. When you when when you have several of the same blocks in a row, try using a repeat loop instead. This will do the same thing with less code. Okay. So let's look at this. We need this. We know we need to get the bird. To turn, he can turn either right or left. So I'm gonna have him turn right. All right, I'm gonna have him move forward once. All right, so let's run it. So so far we're here. Okay. So now we got to get here. Now we got to get all the way down here. So let's reset. So I know I need him to turn left, and then I need him to move one, two, three spots. That's one, two, three spots. Now, if I I could take I could take three move forward blocks here and and do it that way where I have to use three one two three move forward blocks. In order to not have to use so many blocks, I take this repeat loop, place it here, add in one move forward block. 
and tell the repeater loop to do it three times. So now let's run it and see what we got. And he goes one, two, three. So the, so the, the repeater loop kind of does that, does the work for you. So now let's reset. We know he needs to turn left again and move forward. Now let's run it. Okay, so that's what the this this is what uh, the the code to this puzzle should look like, and that's how you use that repeater function. So anytime that you have something where you need to use three, four, five, six, ten, a hundred commands, the same commands in a row, you use a repeater function, and all you have to do is tell it how many times you want it to perform that function. You guys got it? Cool. So, see, they see here, I can share my screen. So, whatever's on my screen is what they see. Now, if I say to stop sharing, man, it will focus back on me. Then I can mute it. Now, they can't hear anything. And then all I do is answer questions. And so, I mean, for, for you, you can just kind of, you can kind of sit in. I can give you your hours and, and do all the paperwork and stuff as far as, you know, but you can stay when you're teaching this curriculum to these kids because it's pretty much these elementary age kids, and it's for the most part, it's just kind of. Kind of logic, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's all in focus. So, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? Not saying you have to. I mean, if if you would rather, and if that, you know, if that job at, at the Boys and Girls Club would be more in line with what you want to do as a career, as for as interacting with your kids, then cool. If you wanted to do this and stay for a while, then you can do this either way. And then you can, even if you want to go home and do I know that this. and still do this. It's too loud. You know? Mm -hmm. If you're talking to the person next to you, you're talking to the library board. Thank you. Yeah, so, so whatever, you know, whatever you decide to do is right. cool. I would like for you to stay. Well, I know. You, know, you got stuff to do. There's no big deal. But even at home, because all I would do is I would send you a link. And then you would just click the link, and then like you would be here. So I'd be on the on the thing, teacher. Like, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Because what I want, what I want, what I want to start doing is getting other people and actually so far to teach. Because I had a guy, I had one of my teammates come on this morning and just talk to the kids, and then after he talked to the kids, then I talk. So what I want to do. To, to be able to teach so I don't have to teach all the classes. Yeah. But, but, it's, and it's something, yeah, I got my 501c3. I'm starting to raise money for it. So, you know, it's something you can learn to do and you can learn to interact with the kids. And it's, a, it's great to be able to say, y'all, talk classes online before. Yeah. You know, some of the people are using because that's like, that's like, um, Next, like generation stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. Okay. Um, it's just as far as you know, saying Texas. That I, you know, I love coming here. You know, mm -hmm. but sometimes I just miss being in two people around. Okay. In my life. So, okay. Yeah, I got you. Cool. Well, get on my car. Let's go. I'll see you next time. I hate leaving. I promise I hate leaving. It's all good. I mean, I know. You got you to have another life back home. Because sometimes I'm scared, y'all think I don't like being here. No. I really don't. 
Just checking in on you guys. Everything okay? Yeah. Great. What time are you guys going to end class? You guys know what time you're going to end class? Yes. Yeah. Will it will it end at twelve? Oh, well, it'll end at one. Oh, it, it ends now. Oh, okay. Do I have time for my video or no? Uh, they have more time. Five minutes. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, guys, real, real. So, hey guys, hey guys, pay, pay attention to the screen if you can. Hey, hey, um, so. Have a seat, guys. Hey, so real quick, hey guys, a uh, great job today. You want we want to get you guys introduced to those uh, those computer science fundamentals principles, but we also want to get you guys introduced to some quick, just uh, uh, basic financial principles. You know, uh, we we're, we're trying to get you guys to build a career, but building a career also means managing your money, managing a business. Uh, doing the things that are necessary for you to be successful. So real quick, quick video uh, to help you guys do that. This is Warren Buffett, uh, Warren Buffett's cartoon, The Secret Millionaires Club. Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world and one of the most successful investors uh, and business owners in the history of the country. And he created this, uh, this cartoon to kind of teach kids about just basic financial principles that he's lived by his entire life. So we want to get you guys access uh, to that type of information. So real quick, it's like a four minute video. Oh, I got it. 
There is no market for lemonade. That's not a bad theory, Jones. But I know I really enjoy a nice cold lemonade from time to time. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. As a matter of fact, according to my data, soft drink sales are usually maximized during the warmer months. I give up. It's a total mystery. I'll never find that ball. Can't find it? Can't find it. That's it! Look, Brittany lives on a totally quiet street. No one can find her. I think you've solved the mystery, Elena. In order to establish a healthy customer base, retail business has to have a good location. Who do you think gets more business? A store on a side street or a store on Main Street? I would venture to say Main Street, of course. So, we gotta help her find a better place to sell her stuff. We'll have to initiate a comprehensive research project. That won't work, Einstein. It'll take too much time. I got time. Soccer practice was rained out. Wait a minute. Soccer Brat just gave me an idea for a super location. I did? Oh, yeah. I did that on purpose. Now that you kids set up Brittany's lemonade stand at the soccer field, She's doing so well, she made the deadline with time to spare. Okay, now where's Jones with our lemonade? I think we may have to postpone imbibing the lemonade. Jones' coordinates seem to be the incorrect location. <laughs> yeah, the end of the line. <laughs> <laughs> Warren Buffett here. Just like a retail business needs a good location to attract customers to its store, you need to think of location too. When you're in a classroom, it's best to sit in a place where you can listen to the teacher. The better you are located and able to pay attention, the better you will do in school. So remember, location, location, location. Pay attention and listen to learn the most you can. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll learn. All right, guys, cool. Hey, hey, uh, great job today jumping in, getting the curriculum knocked out. Uh, hope you had fun. Hope you learned a lot. I look forward to seeing you guys the next class. I know you got to get to your, your, your next uh, appointment or the next thing that you guys have to do. Hey, I love you guys. I'm proud of you. I'll see you later in the week or next week, all right? Cool, all right? See y'all. Have a good one.